Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new off-season PvP video about Dragon Fable. In this particular series, we actually try to see if some of the joke classes in the game can actually stand to a full round of PvP without healing. We're using mostly the same rule set as usual with the exception that I can actually heal and use potions. This time we're going to be starting off as a pirate monkey, one of the joke classes from the old uh, pirate and vs ninja prank wars. This is the armor that I feel is most likely to succeed, namely because it has a stun as well as uh, a shield on it. You can have a look at what I have right now, 21 resist all, that's not too bad. And beyond that I may have actually got access to the rune blast skill which should help me out quite a bit. We've got, as I've said, we've got a stun, a small heal, some defend, as well as other regular stuff that we'll have a look at. So let's do this. Let's start off with a stun. By the way, we're starting against Jiggers, who is a regular warrior. And it seems our stun connected. Sweet. That stun is a really big, uh, how can I say, low cooldown. It'll take a, it'll uh, pop up quite a bit during this. Second turn, you'll see that the stun actually only lasts two turns, so it won't totally protect us against Doom Knights, but it might work. As for the shield, I'm not sure whether he's actually reliable enough to actually be triggered just yet. We're gonna start by throwing off a bomb. Awesome. Oh wait. Oh, he doesn't really even have a real weapon. Well, that makes things easy for me. So, let's show the cannon, call some of our monkey buddies. The kitty is also going to be really helpful, assuming it triggers. Okay, that's done, let's do a shin strike. These classes are fairly simple, the uh, ninja monkey class is also basically the same thing as this one, uh, albeit with different animations for the most part. That's a really great, really great stun, by the way. He just tells him to look over there and he just doesn't do it, so he kick him. <laughs> oh well. So another Shin Strike. And that should be the end of that. I doubt we'll run out of, uh, of mana given that uh, most of the skill costs next to nothing. So okay, that's one win. Four more to go. Okay, target off against Onyx. Onyx who is a Death Knight. How about that? I don't really remember what's the Doom Knight, uh, how can I say, pattern. It's been a while since I've faced one. I know he's gonna pop up a life steal at some point, but look over there. Come on, look over there. Uh. <laughs> okay, that is done. Let's pop the room last. That thing really is invaluable. When you can afford to use it, not all classes can. Not that it's restricted or anything, it's just that sometimes it's just not worth it. Or that you need something else entirely. Oh, broken will, huh? That lasts only a turn, doesn't it? I sure hope so. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's fine. Let's show the cannon. Shifting his presence to heal himself. That's an odd move. Come on, look over there. That should give us the opportunity to heal ourselves. Although whether scratching himself actually counts as healing himself is somewhat questionable. Bam. Oh, we're up potions, aren't we? By the way, I'm not really using the mush skill, namely because it's pretty bad. I can show it off just for the heck of it, but meh. Oh well, managed to take him down, must have crit somehow. Okay, we're up against Luke, the Doom Knight. That guy gave us some trouble <laughs> a while ago. And he's also using that new baby Chimera pet. Hmm, well that's gonna be interesting. So anyhow... 
Use our block now or later? Probably later. Huh. What's it doing there? Mm -hmm. Oh, it adds a defense of 3 turn. Wow. Well, that doesn't matter a lot since it's a Doom Knight, but still. Hmm. Owie! That's quite a bit. So, do I bank on the stun or the heal? Thinking the stun? Could have used the shield as well, but it didn't seem worth it. Well, I'm affected by tiny fireworks, am I? And he still got his defense up. That could be devastating. Okay, there's just a bit of damage, not that big a deal. Huh. If it's a parry, is it gonna trigger? No, it will. Yes, it will trigger. <laughs> oh, well, that's no good. At least he didn't hit too hard as far as Void goes. Can use my heal to help me out somewhat. It hits hard at the start. Doesn't seem to be nearly as good afterward, though. This might be the end of us, but I think we can make it. That new baby Karamira pet doll, though, seems really powerful. I expected as much given that what was required to do it, you had to do all of the In at the Edge of Time uh, challenges uh, that were released recently. But still. Yay! Back to full health. Alright. Next one. Up against Paul, another Doom Knight. How about that? So we can probably pop the heal, try to help us out a bit. Oh, I didn't check his version too. Doesn't really matter, it's version 1, so I don't really care at that point. Okay, so I think this is the one. Doesn't have any effect yet. Oh, it, the effect is on me, of course. So, is that the one where it was before then? Can't afford to take a guess on this. Man. Yep, that was the right one. Good call. That is done, pop the shield. Owie! That was a big hit, but nothing that I can take. Alright! Last one! Go, monkey, go! Up against my Mysterious Mage, who is a Necromancer. Which means that we're gonna have to switch weapons sometimes along the way. So let's start with a stun. Look over there! Come on, look over there! Hmm. That bow is actually pretty neat, although I question the use of uh, having two bows with a ranger though. Let's pop the runestone. Right, that's it for that, and toss bomb. Nah, I don't care about your aura, fair fella. Let's call our cannon buddies. You can even enjoy a banana. Okay, do we actually have this? Yep, so switch weapon. Let's go with the Sight of Liberty, why not? And do a shin kick. Oh, 
Okay. Wasn't that life steal? What did he do exactly? Hmm. Huh. I'm unsure about that. Go kitty! Well, that's a win! Off to the next class! Okay, so next one we're gonna be going as a Zard B. Why use this class specifically? Well, we haven't used it in the regular PvP rotation, given that it doesn't have a lot of skill. It's a joke class, but it's among some of the stronger ones, so it might actually be able to hold its own fairly easily. We start off against Dude. Dude, who is a Riftwalker. Well, that's not nice. So now I have to remember where the stun is, and that's in Brain Dead. Okay, that is done. Let's hope that Kitty won't stun us too much. But that shouldn't happen. I'm using the usual equipment that I have, with the exception that I'm actually using the blade, Ultimate Twin Blades of Destiny, so not a whole lot to you to do there. I can do quite a bit actually. I'll start off with Feast, I think. I actually don't even remember what half those skills do. We'll probably discover that together. I actually feel like my haircut is really funny with this particular one. So anyhow, so I smack my foe and it may crit. How about that? Should be about to come out of stun. Yeah, that's right. Let's pop the undead reflexes. There's a hole in my arm. Well, that's not really gonna help you. You're a zombie, not a skeleton. Okay, that is done. Next, I can do some bone throw, some bone dry humor, as they say. Eh, didn't do much. Must be the multi skill or something. I'm surprised he didn't manage to hit us at all yet. Riffwalker have a tendency to get really lucky. Anyhow, okay, that's the multi one. That bone does though. But we're actually gonna use Munch. It's not particularly fast, but it seems to be working out for us so far. Your shield actually seems good because he keeps, keeps missing us for some reason. Must have been up just before then. And scratch. Owie. Even with a heal, I'd rather not... Uh, Take too many chances on that, so let's just go ahead and rune blast him. If anything, we could put on the rule that we can't heal with this particular armor, given that it's strong enough. I don't know. I'll decide depending on how things go. Alright, let's use the K. Bam! That's right, keep popping those potions. Still took a while though. So we can use Outbreak, use the command of the virus to attack. Attack Beast of Wars? Ah, there. That's where our big hit is. That should be sweet. Okay, so we're off against Latros. Latros, who is actually an evolved Dragonlord. Seem to be using mostly the old stuff, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. We'll start off with Outbreak. The reason why this is actually using uh, some sort of Zard herd is that Zard B are actually connected to Zard somewhat. It's one of the weirder storylines for from Magluin. And bam. Could actually have stunned him. I wouldn't have lost anything from doing that, but meh. So let's slash. And he's pretty much done. Ooh, got lucky. Sweet. Okay, up against Steve. Steve who is an evolved dragon lord. I'm wondering. Hmm. 
This looks like the Rune and Shadow uh, alternative characters. Might be too. Hmm. Anyhow. So we can use Brain Dead actually to stun him. That seems like a smart move. That stuff goes really well with that Evolved Dragon Lord armor actually. Pop the room blasts. That little pony won't do much though. Go with slash to crit. And we're just about done. But quit breaking those potion bottles, man. So feast. And bam! Next one! Up against 18 years old, who is a Doom Knight, a version 1 as I suspected. So, I actually don't even really need to do anything against him. Could probably just show off some of the skills we haven't seen yet, if we haven't seen some yet. Checking on it, the only thing we haven't really seen is Bite and Regeneration. Bite drains power, but not health. That's right. One more turn, so what is it basically? Om nom nom power, whatever that means. Hmm. So what else didn't we use? Them bones, I suppose. That weapon does fit rather well with the Doom Knight. That helm and cape? Not so much. Okay, that's the end of that. We could probably have taken him down if we had tried. Oh well, last one, make or break. Up against Set, Set who is using a horde of Zard too. <laughs> How fitting, but he's not gonna last. So brain dead? Oh, resisted the mobility, did he? How lucky for him. I'm gonna show you a real Zard horde. Actually, using that pet with the Zardby would be really fluffy. It's too bad it's not really available yet anymore. It was part of some really old war back in uh, the beginning of Dragon Fable. If you missed it, well, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's go with Feast. Use a slash to potentially clear it, and we didn't. Oh, that's done. Forgot about that. Won't really matter, but that's annoying. Oh, a potion, aren't we? Well, he pretty much wasted it healing himself. Kitty did the job nicely. So let's see, did something trigger? Not really. Well, let's chomp on him. And finish him off. Bam! Another win. Really, I'm not really surprised as I, I expected both of these armor could somehow make it, namely the Zardby. Next time we're actually gonna try something else, so 
stay tuned. Thank you for watching everyone. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And that was the Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.